If you ever need to measure voltages above 1000 volts, you're going to need to use a high voltage probe with your multimeter. It's essentially just a 1000 to 1 voltage divider, so for every 1000 volts, the multimeter will register 1 volt. An important thing to note is that most high voltage probes are designed to be used with an input impedance of 10 mega ohms. To test this, you'll need two multimeters so that each meter can measure the input impedance of the other. Be sure to test both DC and AC voltage ranges. If you have an auto ranging multimeter, you might need to switch to manual mode to ensure that the input impedance doesn't change. First, I'm going to measure the same module I used in the EEPROM MAN. The manufacturers advertise an output of 400,000 volts, so let's see what it actually is. The tip of the high voltage probe can be unscrewed and used like a screw terminal to hold the wire. It doesn't matter how you connect the probe because the meter will just read the negative value. Now let's hook up a 9 volt battery and you'll see that the module puts out about 10,000 volts, which is nowhere near the 400,000 volts that the module claims. An even more ridiculous claim is this common stun gun that claims to put out 25 million volts. You can immediately tell that it isn't anywhere near 25 million volts because when you bend the tips out, it's no longer capable of arcing. You can roughly calculate the voltage by observing the spark length. 25 million volts would easily be able to cross a gap this large because the typical breakdown voltage of air is about 3 million volts per meter. You can see that this outputs about 14,000 volts, which is still pretty scary, but it's not 25 million volts. Let me know if you have any questions and feel free to leave a comment below. See you next time.